WOAY forecaster Braden Petrie with your full seven-day forecast. And a good evening. We are seeing a few showers out there across southern West Virginia out there for your evening. Taking a look at New River Gorge Bridge for your 5 o'clock hour. Traffic is moving smoothly out there, but we are seeing those damp roads. And that is unfortunately going to continue out there for the next several days as we are tracking the potential for some severe weather as we go, and especially into your day on Thursday. Temperatures right now sitting in those upper 50s to low 60s across southern West Virginia, so slightly below average out there for your afternoon. 57 in Marlington, 57 right now as you go into Lewisburg, sitting at 60 degrees in Summersville. 57 at, as you go into Oak Hill, 57 as well into Beckley, 61 degrees right now as you go into Pineville. Looking at our temperatures over the next several days, should be in those low 60s for this time of the year. Enjoy the next couple of days as we're talking mid to upper 60s likely in the forecast Wednesday into Thursday. But we are expecting a cool front to push through as we close out this week into this weekend, dropping those temperatures to more winter-like feel across the area Friday, Saturday into Sunday. We're talking mid to upper 40s likely Friday, upper 30s in the forecast Saturday before warming up to those mid 40s as we close out your weekend. We are seeing lots of cloud cover out there for your 5 o'clock hour, even some showers across the region. We're seeing some heavier showers across those highest elevations to Greenbrier County to Pocahontas County. Even seeing a few showers from Summersville to Oak Hill. Also a few more showers as you go across our southern coal fields. And that's going to be the theme out there for the next several days across the region. Looking at our chances of precipitation over the next seven days, staying very active across southern West Virginia for the next few days at least. Some showers likely Wednesday, watching that severe threat as we go into Thursday. Some more heavier showers likely Friday, but there are signs as we get closer to this weekend, those rain chances die down just a bit, allowing for mostly dry conditions Saturday into Sunday across the area. So this out times out on future cast. A couple leftover showers as we go towards this evening. We should dry out for your overnight hours. Then watching for some additional showers just in time for your Wednesday morning commute out there. But that clears out pretty quickly because as we go into Wednesday afternoon, we do, we do turn mostly dry before watching that severe threat likely coming back to the forecast Thursday. Watching one round of showers coming back early Thursday morning before seeing that severe threat likely as we go into Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Then as we go into Friday, watching for some more additional heavy showers across southern West Virginia. So we are tracking lots of rain in the forecast over the next few days. Severe weather threat as of now for Thursday. The entire region is under that level one severe threat, level two threat just back towards the Ohio Valley. So we're expecting all modes of severe weather will be possible across the region. And again, this takes, takes place mainly during the afternoon hours. And don't be surprised if you do see some gusty winds and heavy rainfall across your region. So that flooding risk as we go, especially Thursday into Friday, there are signs that the entire region could see about a general one to one and a half inches of rain as we go Thursday into Friday. So we are going to be on a lookout for the threat for some flash flooding across southern West Virginia. Looking at our temperatures as we go into the middle of April, there are signs that the entire eastern and central half of the country do turn much warmer than average. Temperatures could be about 5 to even 10 degrees above average for the majority of the central and eastern half of the country. A bit cooler as you go across the western half. So lots of track over the next several days. Some showers likely as we go into Wednesday. Some morning and afternoon showers likely, even some thunderstorms in the forecast as we go into Thursday. That will be the day we are watching for some severe weather across your region, so make sure you keep it with us for that. We are expecting some more showers likely as we go into Friday. Then as of now, we do see about a 30% chance of rain coming back to the forecast Saturday into Sunday, although it looks like we should stay mainly dry, expecting a beautiful start to next week with temperatures in those upper 60s to low 70s. 